Hey guys, it's your boy Climax, and today we are going to do a draft analysis or player analysis, whatever you prefer, of Tua Tugavaloa. He was drafted for all two of the Miami Dolphins at quarterback, of course, left hand laser. And we're going to be discussing his floor, his ceiling, and who, what uh, level of quarterback I think Tua Tugavaloa will be in the NFL. So let's hop right into it. Guys, if you enjoy this type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other video on Justin Herbert I have on the channel. So guys, we're going to hop right into it. And um, Tua Tagovailoa's ceiling. Now, Tua Tagovailoa is a very accurate uh, quarterback. He is kind of smaller on the physical side of things. He's very, I would consider, pro-ready. And he does have injury concerns, though. So, the quarterback, I think, is that his ceiling would be a Drew Brees. Now, he is getting a lot of comparisons to Drew Brees, and for good reasons. Uh, Drew Brees, very accurate, can throw any ball, doesn't have the arm talent as a Patrick Mahomes. Like, he's not a one-of-a-kind arm talent guy, but because of his decision-making and because of his accuracy, he can become one of the best quarterbacks probably in the game. Um... Now, Tua Tagovailoa is very accurate. He has all, he has the decision-making skills like Drew Brees to become, you know, a top, to become possibly the best quarterback in the league and a top twenty overall quarterback ever. You know, he definitely could be a very, very good quarterback. And Drew Brees is a very high expectation for Tua, but I think Tua Tagovailoa's potential could be Drew Brees because of his accuracy because in Alabama they really you know he he's pro ready he has the footwork he he can work on his footwork obviously but he he's ready he's ready to compete now and I believe if if the injuries aren't there and if he doesn't have to worry about them then he definitely will be a Drew Brees type of player uh, both Drew Brees and Tua had injury issues coming out of college and that is something interesting to look at because uh, it's kind of unique. Uh, both of them, obviously, uh, the Dolphins passed on Drew Brees. And now they took Tua, even though Tua has probably bigger injury issue than Drew Brees. But um, we will see how it goes. I think Tua, just like Drew Brees, will be able to get over that injury hump and become a very, very good quarterback. Now, uh, Tua Tagovailoa, his ceiling is Drew Brees. Now, that is very high and probably a little high of expectations. If you're a Dolphins fan, don't expect him to be the player that Drew Brees is like right now. Like Tua Tagovailoa is definitely going to need a couple years to develop. And yeah, I think they're gonna, Tua definitely will be able to lead. I think Tua will have a Super Bowl appearance at least once in his career. And I think that just like at Alabama, Tua will be a stat stuffer, and that is what Drew Brees is. Drew Brees is a stat stuffer. He gets all the yards. He gets all the touchdowns. And I think Tua will get an absurd amount of yards and touchdowns for his uh, in his career. Now, that doesn't always mean it translates to wins, but I think Tua definitely will be a stat stuffer of a quarterback. Just like Drew Brees. Now we're going to go on to Tua's floor. Now, this one's kind of hard. Uh, you, he's, he's an interesting quarterback to compare. He's left-handed. He's small. He's very accurate. Uh, and he's injury-prone. So who do you compare him to? I compare him to his floor would be a Baker Mayfield. Now, of course, if um, Tua gets injured, then his floor could be, you know, could be anyone who's not in the NFL right now because Tua could get injured again and he could never play. But we're going to consider Tua stays healthy. And I think if he stays healthy, his floor would be a Baker Mayfield. I don't think he could get any worse than an average quarterback in the NFL. And that is what Baker Mayfield is. Um, Tua, Baker Mayfield um, is not going to carry a team to the championships, but he could, I mean, it would be, he would have to have a very... He would have to have a huge, a very good supporting cast around him to carry Baker Mayfield to the championships. But I think he could win a Super Bowl if he had the team around him to do it. 
And I think uh, Tua Tagovailoa's floor is Baker Mayfield. They share the same. Uh, they both were accurate in college. They both um, put up absurd numbers in college. Oh, almost there a pick there. But um, both of them came out of college just needing to work kind of on their pocket presence. Now, I said Tua had good footwork. Yes, but he does have to work on his pocket presence. He Tua, t- just like Baker Mayfield, they tended to, instead of sliding up and around in the pocket in their college days, they tended to roll out unnecessary, spin out, you know, try to make an extravagant play in college in which they didn't need to when they had a pocket that they could have stepped up into and they could have stayed in the pocket a little longer in college. So I think uh, Tua Tagovailoa needs to work on his pocket presence if he wants to become that Drew Brees type of player. And that is why Baker Mayfield is similarity there because Baker Mayfield needed to work on his uh, pocket presence uh, going into the NFL. So guys, uh, that is Tua Tagovailoa's floor. Now, I would say that's a pretty good floor because Baker Mayfield, you could argue he's an average quarterback. I mean, Baker Mayfield's an average quarterback. He's That's just basically it. He's not going to carry your team to the championships, but he's not going to be the guy that throws you know, a million interceptions and causes you to go 0-16. And as the Dolphins organization, I would feel pretty confident in the fact that, you know, we're at least going to have an average quarterback. Now, he is going to put up the stats. I think uh, Tua could have a rookie season like Baker Mayfield. And Baker Mayfield had an amazing rookie season, but then he kind of dropped off. And I could almost see that kind of happening with Tua because of the fact that um, he was constantly injured in college. And that kind of got him off his rhythm. So if he would get injured, you know, in the NFL, you know, nothing serious, career ender. But I could see him get injured at the end of year one, you know, come back year two and not be up to speed again. And him kind of losing something and falling back. And that is what Baker Mayfield did. Baker Mayfield didn't have injury, but Baker Mayfield fell back. And I think Tua could do that because of an injury. So I think he could have the same career trajectory as Baker Mayfield. Tua could, you know, get an injury and lose something, and that would would cause a year to, you know, drop back, like a like how Baker Mayfield's year to ugh, drop kind of happened. I could see the same drop happening for Tua because defenses would learn how to play against him because he had such little college uh, film actually because he was constantly injured and he kind of hopped in to the to the game midway especially his first game that was crazy so yes yeah, I think he could have a fallout just like Baker Mayfield had and I think that's why they're similar I do believe that uh, Tua will be a better quarterback than Baker Mayfield but Baker Mayfield is Tua talking below his floor now, the level of quarterback I think Tua Tagovailoa will be in the NFL is a player in the name of Russell Wilson. Now, Tua and Russell Wilson have similarities like size, and I believe Tua is a better passer than Russell Wilson, actually, which may surprise some people, but uh, Tua, is, I believe, can be more accurate and have um, yeah than Russell Wilson. But I do not believe Tua is as athletic as Russell Wilson, and that is where Tua gets into his trouble because Tua thinks he can, you know, be run around and be evasive, but he can't, and that's what causes injuries. But I think uh, Russell Wilson definitely carries Seattle, and I think Tua could carry the Dolphins' offense. I think Tua could, you know, dot up the opponents and just be crazy with his throws and I think that is how I think the Dolphins definitely could rely on a Tua Tagovailoa to carry the offense and build a defense that almost wins the game for them. Tua definitely will have to carry the Dolphins' offense. And I think that is what Russell Wilson does. And he carries Seattle. And I think that is why Tua Tagovailoa will be the player uh, like Russell. Oh my god, what the... 
will be uh, in the same caliber quarterback as a Russell Wilson because he will have to carry his team, but he will be so good that he can carry his team. So, guys, I hope uh, you agreed with those, kind of just my opinions. If you have your own opinion, put it down in the comments. I would love to read your guys' opinion and kind of look and see who you think Tua Tagovailoa will become as a NFL player and an NFL quarterback especially. So I guess uh, today we discussed Tua's ceiling and Tua's ceiling being Drew Brees, uh, Tua's floor in Baker Mayfield and who and uh, the level of quarterback I believe Tua Tuckenvillo will become and that is a Russell Wilson. So I guess hope you do enjoy it. If you do like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you have no idea how much it helps out the channel like crazy. So, so thankful if you would just take the time to hit that subscribe button. So, guys, hope you enjoyed. I have a Justin Herbert uh, draft or player analysis on the channel as well. If you want to go check that out, that would also be very kind of you. So, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.